morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be rejoiced and glad in it. As we prepare for the service this morning, we ask everybody to open up their eyes, open up their hearts, and open up their minds and get ready to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Would everyone stand, please, if we have an opening song this morning by our senior choir? It does not have works, 
is dead. But someone may say, you have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you your faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac's sons on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works, and by works faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that the man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rabbi, the harlot, also justified by works when she received the messenger and sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. May the Lord have a blessing to read the word. We will now have prayer by Deacon Joe Lewis. Let us all pray. Dear Father, we come again to represent you in this church, Father. Father, we come for one reason, one reason, one reason, one reason, one reason. Father, we thank you for being so good to us. Father, I ask you to be with us, guide us, Father. Father, most of all, give us some love. Father, don't let us go, go away to great day and day. Let us have more learning about you. We ask you to bless, rule, guide, and direct us. We have this love be in our service. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We will now have another selection by the senior choir.
Um, I do not have any announcements at this time. Uh, I would say we would like to pray for our pastor in his absence. Um, safe travels to get to his destination and safe travels as he returns. Um, so everyone let's just please keep him in prayer. But it's just so good to see everybody this morning. I mean, it's so good to be in the house of the Lord and see all the smiling faces behind the mask. I know y'all smiling. So I can see it. I can see it in your eyes where you smile. It changed the position of your eyes. You smile. Amen. 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 Um, so pretty much after the next election, pretty much after the next election, um, from the senior choir, the voice that you will hear is our very own. Um, Reverend Tilbert Paul.
throughout the years that we are in the last day. Just look around. It's like everything is out of man. No. From high prices. At the black gas pump, food prices, night bills, water bills, car insurance, taxes of all kinds are high. Prices of houses are outrageous. There's wars and rumors of wars. The rich is very rich, and the poor remain. And, and this COVID virus seems as though every two weeks there is a new strain. And have we ever seen time go by so quickly? Everything is like out of man. And in these times, many of us can't seem to keep up with the out of control that we face from day to day. Amen? Yeah. And we find ourselves frustrated, tense, dealing with anxiety and fear, and just don't know where to turn. In church, I want to be clear that I'm not talking about the folk out there in the world, but Christians like you and I, sanctified by Jesus the Christ and filled with the Holy Ghost. We may ask ourselves, what is a Christian? to do in times like these. Well, sometimes I, I feel like I'm about to lose my mind because of the time that we are in. But saints, I'm glad for God. Written by men, but inspired by God. James wrote in chapter 1, verses 2 and to count it all joy when we fall into diverse temptation, knowing this that the trial of your faith worketh patience. Sometimes we just need a little patience. Amen. Amen. My daughter told me the other day when we were trying to set up the um, all the equipment for the movie. On yesterday. And I said, and I didn't want to go fast. I can say, let's go. Mom, you need some patience. I said, that is true. That's true. I do. I need to work on my patience. So, you know, the trials work with patience with us. Church, and it's all about our faith, not our trials. But our faith walk as Christians. Amen? Amen. In our text, taken from James chapter 2, verses 14 through 20. And, and, and as I say, I, I, I was found on 20, but you can read the whole uh, chapter. Amen. Can it believe that this James was the brother? To Jesus, or half brother, if you will, to Jesus Christ, our Lord. You can sort of gather that from John chapter 7 in verse 5. James may have also been the pastor of the church at Jerusalem because in chapter 1. James identifies himself as a servant, a bond servant of Jesus the Christ and our God. 
James addressed this letter to the 12 tribes scattered abroad or beyond Jerusalem in Judea. And many believed that they were Christians. Christians experiencing all types of trials and temptations. Experiences that could shake their faith. Experiences that could cause them to become unstable in their faith and unfruitful in their works. In other words, their works did not reflect the love of God and the love of Jesus the Christ, our Savior. Instead, it reflected the love of the world. Church, don't you know, as our pastor would say, don't you know that in times like these, our actions could cause us to look like the world, the world that don't know nor love God and the Lord Jesus the Christ. Neither could they show love for our neighbor. Don't you know, church, that times like these that we are in could shake our faith in Christ Jesus and lead us to a state of faithlessness and dead works. Glory to God in the highest. Just look at the actions of the Christians in the text. <clears throat> there were two men that had come into their assembly. One which man, Jairus and Lysacero, and was poor. The other man was poor and filled with cold. The rich man was invited to the best seats in the house. Me a seat. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and, and the believers' work, their actions, or Christian duty did not reflect their faith in Christ Jesus. Because, because they love the rich <laughs> and despise. They show respect to one and disrespect to the other. Saint James asked the believers, had not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that believe in him and love him? So we have to take a look at the rich, the poor, the have, and the have not. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus, you know, he's not calm. He's in the poor spirit, yes. My <coughs> God. So, so, so we have to make sure that our faith and our works go hand in hand. Amen. What does it profit? My brother, is what James asked. What does it profit? Though a man say he have faith and had not works. Can't faith say Sometimes we think that the bitch is so you know that was out. Amen. Glory to God. The rich could like help us out of our troubles. That it's not going to be so hard and honest when our light bill is high. And I have a big friend that when he comes into the house, I'm going to sure that he or she gets the most prominent seat in the house.
I'm talking about Abraham. Abraham. If a brother or a sister in Christ, James said, if, if, if you come to him next, you know, without the finest clothes, um, if you know that they are a they are neck, you don't have the proper clothes to wear. And destitute, with no food in the house, and sometimes a hot food. No clothing uh, to wear. No peace of mind in times like these. Just down right poor and out. Feeling neglected and rejected by the church. What about church? Close the car in the house. And in life, feeling rejected and then elected because of our status, because of our situation. James said, What, what prompted you to say that we have faith? And no works to follow. Good work to God in the heart of this church. Everyone is feeling the crunch. But if I have a, a, a closet full of clothes, and, and, and some of us have two or three closets, and she was a go with, and not be a blessing. A blessing to someone less than we are. In times like these, what I'm talking about, you know, I, we can still do something to help somebody in times like these. Thank God we are not like the man that, that uh, James brought out in this text. Say unto those in the need of hope, okay, bye. We'll see you later. Depart in peace. Be warm and feel. Well, what, well, what is this? It and James said, and do not be of them those things which are needful to the mind. James asked a queen, What does it profit? To have faith and have not works. For to have faith without works is dead. Alone. By itself is alone. And you know, I don't work for my salvation. I work, or you work because you were saved. Because God has chosen you out of this world. Because Jesus Christ died for us. God helped us when we couldn't help ourselves. That's all James is talking about. We must have faith, working faith. To have faith and have our words is there alone. You know, there's just there's no way it can come together. Who can see the glory of God shine in us? Church, the, the whole world. It's even trying to time right now. There's no way you can go on earth that people are not going to teach you in this hour that we are in. But as children of the most high God who was created to worship our God and to show the love of God. The most high God to own everything in this world. We must have a working thing. It helps us to keep our mind off our own situation. When we just try to get someone, I forget all about, oh my God, I, I don't know. It's my house. Oh, when I go to a pen, I see. Brother Kenny needs to ride something. And I ride, I'll take Brother Kenny to where he needs to go. These are kids. 
power. And the next thing you know, there's a oh my goodness. You know, Miss Tilda, you know, I've been thinking about you and God has put this on my heart. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God in the highest church. 
everyone is in the crunch. But if I have, as I said, a closet full of clothes that I'm going to go to the page I need to be on, praise God. Glory to God in the highest. And James gives another witness with a working faith. They have the heart. You know, she was justified by faith. She was made just by her works. When she received the messenger and sent them out another way. You know, you can read about her in Joshua. And because she did it, because she knew that Israel God was the all powerful God when they came through Jericho to seek out the land that God had promised. The message came through Jericho. She hid so that they would not be killed. She hid them. So therefore, God saved Rahab because of her faith, because of her works. A working faith. So we have got to. We have got to remember that our actions matter with God. Amen. Church, we can we can believe that we are in the last days. How long this period will last? We don't know. We believe it is right. Only God knows. The prophets talk about it in the Old Testament, and the saints. Throughout the New Testament. Even the writer of James wrote about the end time. And you can read that in chapter 1, verse 4. He said, Blessed is the man that endured temptation. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is trying, when it's all over, when it's all said and done down here, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him that has Come on, church. And let's keep it working. Let's hold on to the promises of God. Let's keep it. Even during the serious time that we are in, let's count it all joy. He's your new sister. Yes, he is. That in spite of what we're going through, he's using me. So let him use me. Because when it's all over, when it's said and done, they work in faith. Amen. Just enjoy the come out of us and our family of God. Amen. Just enjoy the name of Jesus. There may be someone here today by virtual or in person. Whose faith may be weak because of the trials that you're going through right now. There may be someone who has decided that you know what? I want to be saved. I want to be saved on this day. And we're going to pray. Cool. Uh, there may be someone that's looking for a church. Just let us know. There may be someone that's looking for a church. Just let us know. And we will get back to you. Look us up on the web. And someone will get back to you. Let's bless the name of God. A working faith, saints. No matter where we are, let the Lord use us. Because he's our strength. Amen. Glory to God.
We all want to be to go. I don't know what suffering Thank you for your word. <laughs> Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your love, oh God. Thank you for your patience with us. Your courage. But we give ourselves away today. Oh, it's amazing. Ask the Father. And God, we are praying for that one that's in your face right now. They want to give their life to you. They will, they will just confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in their heart, the Lord made Jesus up on the third day. Lord, and Lord, we're praying for the one that's struggling right now in this hour. Because of what they're going through, we're praying that they be lifted up, knowing that God is with them. That everything belongs to my God. If they just hold on to their faith and do the work of God in spite of it, the next thing they have, God's going to show Keep it on the Glory to God. Thank you. God bless you. In spite of this pandemic, in spite of all these masks that came on <laughs> to your house, to hear from you, oh God, and to give you the thankfulness. And for me, this is part of my story.
We just think of your body and your body. Your sacrifice and based on it. Now we are only the hostage of the cause that you are very being that we receive you as our Lord and Savior. That we look like we are the Lord. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ.
Yeah. 